Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. Now in regards to your finances and career, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, starting off a very good Pisces. Queen of Pentacles could represent um, having aspirations that are very grounded, that of what you're capable of creating. It can also represent uh, experiencing or starting to experience a flow of financial stability. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth energy or going to an earth energy to get some type of advice in regards to your career, in regards to your finances. Um, and it can also represent having the potential to create income or to create something that can turn into a financial gain, okay? Now, in regards to communication, how you will be communicating with the element of air for this month of September, you have the three of wands. All right, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with uh, fire energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This can also represent... Um, a person from a distance that's going to be contacting you or wanting to contact you for this month of September. It could be a person um, that you no longer have communication with or that there is some type of distancing here. Um, but I do see them wanting to reach out and it could happen within uh, the third day of, um, sorry, the third week of the month uh, where communication starts to happen. Now, with the Three of Wands also, what they're saying here is that it is important to really look towards the future uh, Pisces. Uh, I feel like what they're saying here is you have to be grounded in the things that you want to happen in your life. So whether it's, yeah, because what they're telling me is there's some type of inconsistency with you. Whether it's inconsistency in regards to like you go from one job to another, you don't really know exactly what it is that you want, or whether it be in relationships, uh, there is a coming and going, like not having full clarity on uh, making a decision and sticking with it. So again, the three of wands does signify looking towards the future, um, planning more than anything with the queen of pentacles next to you. Now, in regards to your challenge for this month, you have the Empress card. So I see a lot of bountiful type of energy, a lot of abundance around you. Um, with the Empress card here, I don't really see the Empress as a challenge other than uh, try to be a little bit more selfless Pisces. Now, I know the majority of you guys have no problem with that. Pisces are known uh, to be extremely on the emotional side. Um, but the shadow side of Pisces is a person that could be very into themselves it could be a person that could be very selfish they only think of their needs and not those around them uh, so as a challenge what spirit is telling you is you need to learn to be a little bit more selfless put others people's needs before your own um, and, and this could even be directly connected to those of you guys that are mothers or fathers uh, being more loving or more nurturing and again I find this odd uh, because Pisces are not really uh, the type of person to need to tell them to be a little bit more loving or understanding to their children. But this is a message that's coming through. Uh, whether it be that you have been working very you know, long hours and don't really find the time or have the time to spend with your children, uh, Spirit is saying you need, you need to make them a priority. Now, in regards to love and romance, you have the star card. So again, love is being illuminated for you, Pisces. For those of you guys that have been single for a while, you may be dealing with a Libra or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type of energy that's coming in. The star card does represent renewal, but it also represents um, new beginnings, finding a new path um, or crossing paths with a new person that's coming in for you. So stay on the lookout for that. Now, in regards to Spirit's advice here, the Nine of Wands signifies having the need uh, to end or to stop a certain behavior that you've done or continuously have done in the past. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, is being tired, being exhausted. It's like you've been through the ringer, um, and, and it's time for you to stop trying 
to put effort in things that are not really giving you anything in return. Now, in regards to the selflessness or being selfless, um, this could be a representation of Perhaps you have a tendency of testing your partners. Perhaps you have a tendency of, you know, wanting them to express their love the way you would understand it. But it is important to understand that when it comes to love, everyone, love in itself is a love language. Um, so everyone learns to love very differently. And it has all to do with the preconditioning as in your childhood. So with the nine of wands, this could represent, um, you know, putting yourself in a position where you give love that is conditional meaning um if they don't treat me this way or if they don't love me this way or prove to me or show me then you know there's the door or if they don't do this it means they don't love me that type of energy and what they're telling you here is spirit's advice is it's time for you to detach yourself from that of the physical meaning here and now detach yourself from that and try to understand where this need of proving love to you is coming from does it come from childhood um, experiences uh, did your parents did you have difficulty connecting with your parents whether it be your mother or your father's side um, was it conditional meaning did they only tell you that they loved you or they cared for you um, if you achieve certain things that to their standards was considered good, um, again, it has a lot to do with understanding how we love and the language of our love and how other people uh, show that. Because what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, I see a person that maybe has a tendency of not oversharing their emotions and this could come off to you as they're very closed off. But in reality, they may not show you through words or expressions of love. But with the Queen of Pentacles, they're more practical in their approach to showing you they care. As an example, if you're married, they're the provider. They're the one that takes care of business. They're the ones that are looking out for you and for your children, that type of energy. And this is a more practical approach than me just giving you words of love without really giving you uh, the action behind that. I hope that makes sense. And finally, your rune card here. This is all to do with the physical strength and healing. This is driving force, overcoming fear, breakthrough obstacles. So again, I feel that there is a need for you to break through this obstacle that could be connected to uh, how you connect with other people. And it could be a toxic trait. Um, and, and again, that of being selfless or thinking of others before yourself uh, speaks about not being quick to judge or not being so judgmental. And again, when we talk about relationships, um, you know, there's certain there's certain things that you may have um, that you may have or you may consider like uh these are the must-haves and if they don't then you know you kind of feel like they don't love you or they don't care that type of energy so just acknowledge that and um really try to for this month of september try to take a step back whenever you make decisions or when you're dealing with people take a step back and try to be you know try to walk on their shoes try to understand where they're coming from and if there is uh, conversations about what you could do better Pisces don't take it personal don't take it as uh, they're them themselves are being judgmental take it as uh, constructive criticism okay all right my lovelies I hope this gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon bye